Twitch up. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Tio here, and um, I don't know what to say. I really don't, other than just a simple thank you to you guys. Um, thank you for getting me to 250 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Now, most of my subscribers are actually very, very inactive because I've been having, I've had this channel for, as of right now, almost four and a half years. Five in the end of August, I've had this channel. Five years. And, you know, back in the day, I didn't do anything with it because, you know, YouTube was pretty much, you know, I had the account, I uploaded basic things back in the day like I uploaded like Sims 3 houses and everything and just and then there was a time you know I did little stupid vlogs when I was like 12 unfortunately a few of you guys remember those videos and we don't talk about those they were really stupid and then we went to the um we uploaded some Call of Duty stuff but we just gameplay with no commentary or anything just the gameplay I'm gonna drink some water because my throat's dry, so I'm sorry for that. I don't even know why you'd be. I need to apologize. Everyone needs water in the system, but yeah, I went through that phase, and then I went through the um, the um, I then I picked up with something kind of similar to what's going on now, but like 2013-ish. I you know I think I did like a, a gaming setup and everything. And then I did it like a subscriber video for like 50 and it was horrible. Camera quality was atrocious and I had a bowl cut. We don't, those days were horrible. But, um, and then I did some series and, you know, did some stuff. You know, didn't know what I was going to do with my channel. So I kind of stopped the series. Uploaded a lot of rage things. And I might have, and I might have another one of those coming up as a special upload. It's a clean rage. It's, if any, I don't even remember if I swear on it or not, but it's clean rage, just randomness. Uh, my friend Quicks recorded it for me, so thanks, Dem. If he sends me that over, that'd be great. But um, yeah, that should be up. You know, something similar to those rage videos, hopefully in the next week or something like that. But yeah, back in like what, uh, fall of 2013, I was uploading rage videos and everything, and then I did some. Started roller coaster tycoon stuff, and then transitioned over, you know, so whatever random videos, class projects, music, over to 2014, where I had a bit of a couple, had a few series going. Um, I uploaded some other random videos, and then there was just a, then there was like a two month pause of no videos, and then summer was I started to become a bit active, you know, I was a tiny bit active in the start of the summer. I uploaded a couple videos. A couple videos a month, probably. And then August picked up, and I was and I uploaded probably, what, six videos in the last, like, two weeks? Something like that. And then that's around that time of 2014, you know, the end of August or the start of August, whatever. Somewhere around that time, I started up Diego's Game Hunting. Is it the end of August or the other? Either the end of August or the start of September. I started Diego's Game Hunting, and that series has taken off to the point of I have 18 episodes. Episode 18 is going to be coming out later this week, and I'm wearing the same outfit in it, and I think I mentioned that in that video, because I'm doing multiple recordings in one day, you know, to save you some time, and you have everything planned out in advance, so, yeah, and just the series has taken off ever since there, it really has, and just so has my channel, I remember when I first started game hunting, I think I was at what, a little under 190, and that was just through all the, yeah, I, Somehow I managed to get to 100, like 180, 190 subscribers just because I was, because before I did, um, what I'm doing now is the game hunting. I was in, uh, I was a avid Call of Duty player. I, I still do play, but it's not what I'm uploading to this channel. Now, sure, I was, it's going to actually, the, the Rage video is going to be Call of Duty gameplay as I'm playing Call of Duty, but, you know, I figured I'd upload that just, you know, to give those older fans or those who enjoy my Rage or whatever... Weird as that may sound. I enjoy people's rages too, so it's not really that weird. But, you know, to people who enjoy this type of videos from me, you know, I'll give them a piece of, you know, piece of pie. You know, the, the slice of pie they wanted. That was a horrible analogy, but the point is still stands. And just, 
you know, I, like I said, I was an avid Call of Duty player, you know, did clans or whatever on there. So a lot of my subscribers came from those kinds of people. People I knew from school, yada yada. And somehow, somehow, some way, I managed to get to about maybe 180, 190 at the time. You know? So. And I remember back June 2013, somewhere on the start of that. Before they, you know, they forced the mandatory the YouTube one layout, which is what everyone has, and I completely forgot they actually changed the layout. Now I'm thinking about it, but at the time I had about 80, and at the time I started Diego's Game Hunting, I had about 180. So in that matter of a year or whatever, I managed to get 100 subscribers for that time frame, which is kind of weird to think about. But nonetheless, I'll take that. But ever since Diego's Game Hunting, in the past six months, about I've gained. At least, probably 60 to possibly 70 subscribers in this time frame. And it's picking up. It has been picking up. The last, you know, week I've gotten maybe at least 10 subscribers. Which is awesome. The past, like, week, week and a half. It's awesome. And again, thank you guys enough for the support you guys are giving me on my videos, you know. The fact that I'm appealing to a new crowd and a crowd of people that I never anticipated. Well... What I mean by that is, like, I never, ex I never expected that so many people would, you know, be sharing the same hobby as I have and just be such a close-knit and awesome community. And I'm talking to you guys, people that are holy divers, you know, SWAT, whatever, all those people. All those people out there. Um, just everyone connected with retro gaming, people I know from my school, just everyone, like, right there, just, you know, thank you guys. You know, for being the, just an awesome, tight-knit, you know, supportive community that it is. And you guys welcome me with open arms. And I, I've i been happy here ever since. And I really have no plan to leave. And so, just a huge thank you to you guys. And now, I figured, you know, to end my rambling here, I'm going to start, you know, go to another topic here. Uh, what am I going to be doing for 250 subscribers? Well, what, you know, I hope you guys do enjoy this idea. Because, you know, it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. And it's something that I, you know, I think you guys would hopefully enjoy. And what I plan on doing is, you know, in this video, I'm going to, you know, do a little add-on to it. So it might be longer than, you know, I probably intended to me, but whatever. I'm going to add on, you know, and I'm going to do a basic overview of my collection. Basic overview, talk about the basic things that I have, you know. The coolest games per console, like one or two of the coolest things I have. Do a little run through and call it a day in this video. And then going forward, I'm going to be, you know, showcasing, you know, all of the, all the things I have per console. And, you know, depending on the size of the collection I have, like for my Genesis collection and, and Super Nintendo collection, they're very small. So I might cram those into one video, maybe the handhelds into one video. But the consoles that I do have a lot for, like now the GameCube, Dreamcast, Xbox, all those things, I can do um I can do individual videos on them. So some might be long, some might be short. But nonetheless, I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I know a lot of people were saying, oh, do a quite do a question and answer, a QA. I mean, yeah, I've seen a lot of people doing that lately. I I mean it's almost kind of cliche. To me, at least. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do one in the future, and I plan to do one. And I might do that for maybe 300 subscribers. That's a weird number to think about, actually. But maybe 300, 350 subscribers. Probably 300, probably 300 though. Um, at least, you know, that you know will be the current goal. Just because everyone's been doing them lately, and I'm going to let the fad kind of die out in the community. But, you know, well, once everything's been down, you know, I'll start one up, you know... That way you guys can... And plus, you know, from this point on, maybe start thinking of comments. Start just telling me comments below of question and answers things, whatever, yada. And I will answer them once I hit 300. Now you... Ugh, excuse me. Now, if it's like a question that's pertinent to now, I really wouldn't ask it. But if it's something that, you know, from this point to 300, that the question can still be, like, new and, you know, relevant, then I'll, then, you know, answer it. So, but nonetheless... And that's what I plan on doing. And just, again, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so, so much. 
it means the world to me the support because you know i've been i've gone through a lot you know the past six at least six months to a year and just the support you guys have been giving me you know whether it be real life or on youtube or whatever any kind of support you know it, it helps a lot it helps more than you guys can ever even imagine believe me and I run out of things to say. So, we're going to kick it over to the other part of the series. Or, excuse me, the other part of the episode. Video, whatever. I'm used to saying episode in the series. I don't know why. But, yeah. We're going to kick it over to the overview collection. Video thingy. Whatever that section is. I'm going to go right to it now. Thank you guys again. See you there. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tio here and I am back with the, uh showcase portion of the video i had actually recorded this earlier but you know ran out of memory so i might record it so yeah let's do a basic run through here and uh here we have the pickups uh that are due towards mr bender doing a trade with him and hopefully i should be getting those pickups what i'm getting from the trade for episode 19 so yeah i can't wait to see what i'm getting so over here we have a Wii U cord that's being really annoying. But yeah, over here, we got, you know, the Xbox games. And some of the notable ones are uh, probably just on the wire. Um, all of the Call of Duties released on the Xbox are here. Uh, Family Feud. That's actually a really fun game. I spent 20 buck, one in, uh, tw excuse me, 21 bucks on it before. But if you can find it for cheaper, definitely get it. It's a lot of fun for a party game. Uh, over here, I got all the Halos and stuff, demo discs. I uh, never seen Most Wanted. It's a really fun game, really fun. Uh, rock bands, whatever. Uh, but over here, SSX behind the controllers here. But yeah, SSX. That game's really fun, actually, for this console. Really fun. Uh, but as you see here, I have tape on some of these controllers because I've uh, raged really hard when I was a younger and broke controllers a bit. So yeah, stupid me. Now down here we have the Dreamcast. This is my Dreamcast stuff, that's my Wii there, because I'm I have it down here because I'm starting to play it a bit more for the GameCube aspect of it because it's a bit, bit better quality because I have a uh, component cables for this. But here um I got my um uh PAL controller complete in box. Spent twenty dollars on this a couple years ago. And I just needed to have it then. So yeah, it looks nice as a piece. Uh then I got some VMUs here, random CDs, or excuse me, uh uh, games up here. Uh, the, we have two controllers here. One is black and one is white and those have a significance in episode 18 So definitely check that out and you'll see what I mean um, I'm sorry for the poor lighting over here. I this desk is in the way and it casts out the lighting But some of the notable games we got here are a crazy taxi really fun game uh, Down here Jack on radio Jack on radio. Excuse me. That's a recent pickup of mine I have not gotten around to playing it yet, and I really want to start doing that the other game's a lot of fun. Um, uh, Seaman's another good one. Basically, uh, you use the Dreamcast microphone to your controller, and you basically talk to a, uh, basically just talk to a fish with a human head. It's really weird, but it's really fun at the same time. Uh, Shenmue, I've played a little bit of Shenmue, and, it's, and just for the time being what it is, it's a great-ass game. Great game. Uh, I got both Sonic Adventures. Uh, Tony Hawk, obviously a fun game. Uh, but yeah. I think now, all in all, I have, what, probably, what, 12 controllers, two fishing rods, two Dreamcasts, one that works, one that doesn't, and just a, a lot of Dreamcast stuff that I probably shouldn't have, or really shouldn't need, but I still have anyways, because why not? Yeah, let me fix this real quick. I didn't want to do, I don't want to be long on this. It's a quick video for a reason. Uh, up here, we got a lot of my boxes for collection and display. So yeah, over here we got some more stuff. I got my Xbox boxes over here. Uh, my Saturn uh, Virtua Fighter stick, really cool. Still have not have a use for that since I don't have the Saturn. But uh, here's my uh, other Dreamcast I mentioned. Does not work. Controller ports are fried, so I need to get a replacement one. And this Wii does not read discs. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's a two dollar two dollar Goodwill display Wii, so it's pretty cool. Uh, over here we got both my PS ones. Um, all my controllers for PlayStation, my multi-tap, which you'll see in episode 18, and my PlayStation 2. I got a lot of controllers here. I got a lot of off-brand ones, too, and I plan to sell this a lot on eBay. I just need to get around to that. Uh, but down here, we got all my Game Boy things. Uh, we got my, uh, Game Boy Advance, pink. Uh, my two Game Boy, uh, 
uh, advanced SPs. My blue one, the one I grew up with, and this black one I got uh, on the other hand when I first started this. Some games in here. Uh, Game Boy Color back here. Some of my box games. Definitely notable is Mario Kart Super Circuit. Probably the best Game Boy game I have so far. Down to my GameCube collection. I have a lot, but nothing. But nothing. But there's a few that stand out to me. Um, well, obviously the Tony Hawk series. Definitely Tony Hawk series. This, these games are so freaking good. Uh, obviously got Melee, Sunshine. Uh, the street games are a lot of fun. Street basketball games, definitely a lot of fun. Spider Man's fun. Um, but Battle for Bikini Bottom. These SpongeBob games are actually really freaking fun. And you're probably getting turned off by the fact that it's a SpongeBob title. But believe me, the game is actually a lot of fun. Uh, Mario Kart. Um, yeah, that's pretty much a basic run through of the cool, well, the cool games that I have memories of, at least, for GameCube. Because a lot of these games are new and I haven't gotten around to all of them. Uh, but actually, Backyard Baseball. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Uh, but down here we got my GameCube, my Wave Bird, and other controllers. Got a lot of memory cards. Uh, I even have the, um, the microphone for the Mario Party 7, but I don't have the game. Sucks. But, uh, here we got my, uh, white Dreamcast, or excuse me, not Dreamcast, GameCube controller. Uh, down here we have, uh, my Atari, and, uh, all my Atari games back here. Actually, I have two of them, and you'll see why in episode 18. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, over here we got my PSPs. Yeah, I have two PSPs. One stopped working, this one stopped working, so I got this one. But after I got this one, short, shortly thereafter, this started to work, so that's two of them. Uh, all my games here. A lot of sports titles. A lot of sports titles. I don't know why. Uh, but all my DS games. There's some of these are just cases. Like I got, a, I got a few from uh, Nicholas. I'll just call him Nicholas because he's just a, just a pester him. But yeah, Nick got some cases from him and some other things. You know, Goodwill. But over here we have my uh, NES stuff. I got my top loader here. Uh, my dog bone controller. Um. My box, the Tetris, it's just the box in the game. Uh, it's in the manual, I believe. Uh, it's missing the um, missing the uh, lid flap thing. I have an extra copy of Tetris, so I I've, I've wait. At one point in time, I had three copies of Tetris. A bit ridiculous, I know. Uh, satellite, um, yeah. Juice uh, Cookie's a fun game. Definitely a fun game. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, NES. I'm not actually a, I'm not really an avid NES player. Sucks. Uh, this is my mess from the first take of this, but uh, I got all my boxed uh, games over here, as well as um, my various cartridges, cartridge games. Ugh, this is a mess here. But the most notable ones, you know, PS1 long box games are really cool. Oh, Lord in heaven. That was not good. Um, but most, most notable for the boxed N64 are definitely Smash Brothers and Tony Hawk. Nothing really too significant on the Genesis or the uh, Super Nintendo that I need to talk about, but I do have a Mario Paint complete with the mouse, but not the box. Let me pick up these poor souls that fell and probably died. Yeah, this is a mess over here. My apologies to that. Then we got my Genesis up here. Don't have too much for it, like I said. Up here we have all my Wii stuff and Wii U stuff. All Wii U, all this Wii U, all these Wii U games I recommend so much. Um, over here, um, I haven't played Twilight Princess, but I feel it's good. Um, Mario Kart, Wii, and all the Mario parties are definitely fun. Um, Rampage is a lot of fun. I've not played the game in years, though, but it was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, Galaxy, Brawl, but, um, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam is actually a lot of fun. And same with all the, uh, Wii, Wii Sports games, the Wii title games. A lot of fun. Then over here, I just... Who's over here before? We got my fight pad, and then my uh, GameCube Smash controller. Over here, um, Knuckles is sitting there. Got my two amiibos, my Yoshi, and my Luigi. Uh, various N64 controllers in the N64 console itself. Over here we have Sonic. I'll move him out of the way. Yeah, it's kind of a mess because I still I'm still yet to have an actual organization method of like sorting these games. But for now, this seems to be working. The other ones are a Duck Gong 64. Um, I got Paperboy somewhere over here, Mario 64, and all those box no notables I mentioned. Oh, Army of the Heroes too. For that's a pretty um, it's kind of expensive title. Not really too bad, but ten bucks about, eh, a little bit, you know, above that decent price range in my opinion. I don't even know what I'm rambling about anymore. My apologies, but PS1 down here. Um, any significance? Uh, we have 
what end zone uh oh, crash bandicoot warped yeah i've heard that game goes for like 30 bucks or at least i think it, yeah 30 bucks they got it for two dollars uh hexen picked it up episode 18 check that out um oh you'll check it out obviously in that uh the spyro you're the dragon yep um it's another thirty dollar game that I got for two dollars. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha, I think that goes for like fifteen bucks, something like that. Uh, PS2, I don't really have too many significant things that you know really need to stand out. Oh, Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune is actually really fun on this console, really fun. Uh, I got some steel games here, but nothing really too special. The only cool things I really have are these Japanese imports. I mentioned those in episode seventeen. Um, Xbox, really nothing much. I got, um, my Duke controller. I got four working controllers, and you'll see why in episode 18. But probably the most significant things I have for this console would have to be, uh, probably, uh, the, the, uh, Halo 2 one here. It's in the, uh, the, uh, metal case thing. And then, uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. It's not complete, but it's still an $80 game. $80 game. That's awesome. Um, over here we got my Donkey Kong Bongos, two of them, I think episode 17 I got the other one. Um, various, uh, extra cases I have, or just extra games that really have no need for the collection. I actually have a Turbo Graphics game that I mentioned, I believe, and I, I think, uh, episode 14, yeah. Um, got my DJ Hero stuff here for, uh, the Wii and the Xbox. Uh, various wires all mismatched in here. Ugh, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, my Nintendo Power is down here. PC stuff, whatever. Um, various extra Atari controllers um, and uh, DDR pads and everything. Just mopped back there. And I actually stuff behind this couch. Uh, it's really hard to see, but we got Rock Band controllers. Or Guitar Hero controllers. Uh, my Dreamcast keyboard. Uh, some of my racing wheels and some DDR pads. But nothing. Because just I have stuff back there because... We don't know where else I can put it at the moment. And, you know, it's a bad organization method by me. At least with that stuff behind the couch, I know. I'm going to have to figure, what I'm, figure out what I'm doing with that. Um, but I believe that wraps this thing up. Um, yes, thank you guys so much for watching this, um, this 250 subscriber thank you video. And tiny bit of an update video, I guess you could say. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up below. It all helps. And if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, definitely subscribe. Oh, and also with my Xbox, um, I'll put my gamer tag down below if any of you guys want to play with me on any of these games. Or if you have any game recommendations for me to, you know, obviously go out and find. I'll take those into consideration and uh, see if I can find them. Uh, I'll put my gamer tag down below. So definitely, you know, add me if you want to talk. If not, I mean, that's understandable. I mean, whatever. But, um, yeah, probably for the uh, whole uh, individual run-throughs, probably the first thing that I will do is out of the Dreamcast... Or the GameCube. Either or. Let me know what you guys want to see first. Dreamcast or GameCube is the intro. Because I'm fine with either or. So, um, yeah. Should be about it, guys. Thank you again. And I will see you guys next time.